Only about 1% of people over 50 truly understand what creatine is doing inside the body, and if you're in that age range and have never even thought about it, this might just be the most eye-opening message you'll hear this year. Now don't roll your eyes. This isn't about flexing at the beach or building vanity muscles. This is about something far more important. Your energy, your independence, and your ability to move through life without feeling like your body's betraying you. It's about bending down to lift your grandchild without wincing. It's about walking up a flight of stairs without gasping or gripping the rail for dear life. It's about waking up in the morning with a body that still feels capable, still feels like yours. See, aging itself isn't the enemy. What truly wears people down is neglect. From your 30s onward, muscle loss begins quietly. 1% here, 2% there. But after 50, that slow fade accelerates. Strength starts to slip away, up to 15% gone every decade, and with it goes your mobility, your balance, and eventually, your confidence. Here's the wild part. There's a simple, scientifically proven compound that can slow this decline dramatically. It's safe, it's been studied for decades, and yet, almost no one over 50 uses it. Why? Because creatine got stuck with the wrong reputation. Most people still think it's just that gym powder for bodybuilders trying to bulk up. But creatine is so much more than that. It's one of the most powerful, research-backed tools for aging well that science has ever uncovered. The forgotten supplement that can redefine aging. Let's set the record straight. Creatine has been studied in over 500 scientific trials, and the data is clear. It helps preserve muscle mass, enhances strength, supports brain health, strengthens bones, stabilizes mood, and even boosts metabolism. In other words, it's not hype, it's science. But the internet is filled with noise. Search creatine, and you'll find myths about hair loss, kidney failure, and all sorts of outdated fears. Most of them come from misunderstandings or tiny studies that never stood the test of time. So, in this deep dive, we're going to tear those myths apart. We'll look at the real evidence, the kind published in respected medical journals, and show you how creatine can help your body, your brain, and your energy as you age. We'll also talk about the precautions you should take so you can use it wisely and safely. Because here's the truth, trying to age naturally without realizing that your body's natural systems are slowing down isn't noble, it's just risky. Your body loses tools with time. Creatine is one of those tools, and the longer you ignore it, the harder it becomes to regain what's already fading. If you're still here, that means you care about staying strong, capable, and independent. So hit that subscribe button, and let's bust through the myths one by one. Myth number one, creatine makes you go bald. Let's tackle the rumor that refuses to die, the idea that creatine causes hair loss. You've probably heard it from a friend at the gym or read it on some random forum. Bro, creatine makes you bald. But here's the real story. This myth started with one single study. It was conducted on a small group of rugby players, just 20 participants. The researchers found a slight temporary increase in a hormone called DHT after creatine use. DHT has links to hair loss, so the internet did what it always does. It panicked. But nobody in that study went bald, and no follow-up research ever reproduced those results. The supposed increase in DHT wasn't even outside normal healthy ranges. Since then, hundreds of studies have examined creatine safety, including a full review by the International Society of Sports Nutrition. Their conclusion was crystal clear. There's zero scientific evidence that creatine causes hair loss. If you're genetically predisposed to baldness, it'll happen eventually, creatine or not. But stress, inflammation, poor diet, and aging accelerate that process far more than creatine ever could. So let's stop letting old gym gossip block something that could literally make your later years stronger and more independent. The science is in. The myth is dead. Myth number two, creatine damages your kidneys. Now for the myth that scares most older adults away, the fear that creatine harms your kidneys, it's understandable. You hear creatine and your brain instantly jumps to creatinine, a waste product your doctor measures during blood tests to check kidney health. People assume the two are the same, but they're not. When you take creatine, your body naturally produces more creatinine. 
that's not a sign of kidney failure, it's just a byproduct of the supplement doing its job, it's like earning more money and panicking because your bank balance changed, makes no sense right? Multiple long-term studies, some lasting up to 10 years, have shown no harmful effects on kidney function in healthy adults. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine reviewed 12 clinical trials and confirmed the same result, creatine does not harm the kidneys, even in older adults, or, people with mild health concerns, the data stays consistent, no kidney overload, no damage, no red flags, the only exception, if you already have diagnosed kidney disease, in that case, you should absolutely talk to your doctor first. But for healthy people, creatine is one of the safest most well-studied supplements on the planet, so no, your kidneys won't explode. But letting fear hold you back from something that could protect your muscles, brain, and bones. That's the real danger. Benefit number one, the fight against muscle loss, sarcopenia. Now let's talk about why creatine matters most after 50, muscle preservation. There's a medical term for the gradual loss of muscle with age. Sarcopenia, it usually begins in your 30s but accelerates dramatically after 50. You lose 3 to 5% of your muscle mass every decade, and after 60, that number can double. This isn't just about appearance, it's about ability. When your muscles weaken, everyday tasks get harder. Standing up from a chair, lifting groceries, climbing stairs, each one demands more effort. Weak muscles mean more falls, slower recovery, and a smaller life. A study from the University of Sao Paulo revealed that muscle strength is one of the biggest predictors of quality of life in older adults, more than blood pressure, cholesterol, or even body weight. This is where creatine shines. It increases the body's ability to build and repair muscle by enhancing protein synthesis. In one study published in the Journal of Gerontology, men over 55 taking creatine saw a 30% boost in muscle building activity compared to a placebo group. Another study from the University of Oklahoma found that older men supplementing with creatine gained 7 pounds of lean muscle in 12 weeks, while the non-creatine group gained only 3. And here's the fascinating part. Older adults may benefit more from creatine than younger ones. Because your natural creatine stores decline with age, your body absorbs supplementation more efficiently, like a dry sponge soaking up water. So if you think you're too cow, Two old stainless out in Su, so between called out to benefit from supplements. Think again. Creatine's effectiveness may actually increase with age. Benefit number two: brain power and mental clarity. Now let's leave the gym for a second and talk about your brain. Creatine isn't just muscle fuel, it's brain fuel. Your brain accounts for only 2% of your body weight but consumes about 20% of your energy. And that energy depends heavily on ATP the same energy molecule creatine helps replenish. As you age, your brain's energy metabolism slows. That's when mental fatigue creeps in, focus fades, and memory begins to slip. But studies now show that creatine can recharge your brain's energy system and keep you sharper for longer. Research published in neuroscience found that older adults, especially vegetarians with naturally low creatine levels, experienced major improvements in memory and mental processing speed after supplementing with creatine. Another study from the University of Sydney reported similar outcomes. Better reaction times, less mental fatigue, and a noticeable lift in overall cognitive performance. Participants described it as mental energy returning. And it makes sense, when your neurons have more fuel, everything from concentration to mood improves. Emerging evidence even suggests creatine could protect against neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's by preserving brain tissue and reducing oxidative stress. So yes, creatine builds muscles, but it might also help keep your thoughts crisp and your memory alive. Benefit number three, stronger bones, happier joints. We rarely think about bones until they ache or break, but after 40, bone density naturally declines, joints grow stiffer, cartilage wears down, and simple movements start to hurt. Creatine, surprisingly, plays a role here too. A year-long study published in the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research found that adults over 50 who supplemented with creatine increased their spinal bone density by up to 2%. That may sound small, but remember, most people in that age group are losing about 1% each year. Gaining instead of losing? That's remarkable. Creatine also strengthens the muscles surrounding your joints, reducing stress and impact on the cartilage. Think of it as reinforcing the scaffolding around a fragile structure. 
in adults age 45 to 65 with mild knee arthritis, combining creatine with resistance training reduced joint pain by one-third in just three months. Less pain, more movement, better life. Benefit number four, more energy, better mood. Let's be real, one of the hardest parts of getting older isn't the wrinkles, it's the exhaustion, the sluggish mornings, the foggy afternoons, the I just don't feel like myself days. That's not laziness, it's low cellular energy. Your brain and muscles simply aren't recharging as efficiently as they used to. Creatine helps fix that. It restores your cells' ATP levels, giving both your body and mind a reliable energy source. In a study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology, participants struggling with chronic fatigue reported a 50% reduction in tiredness and a major increase in energy after just eight weeks of creatine supplementation. And mood. Researchers at the University of Utah discovered that creatine boosts levels of a compound called S-adenosylmethionine, which supports serotonin balance and acts as a natural antidepressant. In menopausal women with mild depression, creatine supplementation noticeably improved emotional stability and motivation within two months. So when people say creatine just makes you stronger, they're missing the bigger picture, it makes you feel alive again. Benefit number five, metabolism and weight control. Here's another secret most people overlook. After 40, your metabolism slows down every single year. By 50, you're burning hundreds of calories fewer per day, even if your diet and exercise haven't changed. That's why the belly fat creeps in, energy dips, and frustration rises. Creatine can help reverse that. By preserving lean muscle, it keeps your metabolic rate high, since muscle tissue burns far more calories at rest than fat does. For every extra kilogram of muscle you maintain, you burn up to 100 additional calories daily without even trying. In one 12-week Brazilian study, adults aged 45 to 60 taking creatine during a weight loss program maintained more lean mass and experienced a 7% higher metabolic rate than those who didn't. New research even shows creatine may stimulate brown fat, a special type of fat that burns energy to generate heat. That means your body might literally become better at burning calories simply by optimizing its energy systems. Creatine doesn't just help you lift weights, it helps your metabolism lift you. Three critical rules. Before you start by now, you're probably convinced, but before you rush out to buy a tub, there are three essential rules to using creatine safely after 40. One, purity matters more than price. Cheap creatine often contains fillers or impurities that can cause digestive issues or worse. Look for brands that are third-party tested, transparent about ingredients, and use the gold standard form, creatine monohydrate. 2. Hydration is non-negotiable. Creatine draws water into your muscles, which is great, but only if you're drinking enough. Add at least three extra glasses of water daily, morning, afternoon, and evening. Keep your urine light yellow, not dark. 3. Check your baseline health. If you have kidney disease or take medications like diuretics or blood pressure drugs, get a simple blood test first. A quick kidney and liver panel ensures you're starting safely. Creatine works best when taken consistently, daily, not occasionally. You're not spiking a hormone, you're gradually filling a storage tank. That's how the magic happens. Stronger muscles, better cognition, steadier energy, and improved bone health. The bottom line. We began with myths that scared people away. Hair loss, kidney damage, misinformation. We've walked through the truth, the studies, the benefits, the safety measures. But the real takeaway is this. Aging doesn't have to mean decline. You don't have to surrender your strength, your clarity, or your enthusiasm for life. You just have to support your biology with what it's missing. Creatine isn't about chasing youth. It's about protecting your independence, rebuilding your vitality, and giving your body the support it deserves. So, what's next for you? What are you changing in your training, your nutrition, or your daily routine after learning this? If this opened your eyes, drop a like, hit subscribe, and join our community of people redefining what it means to grow older with power, clarity, and purpose. Because aging strong isn't about luck, it's about knowledge. And now, you've got it.